Hey there guys, welcome back, it's nice to uh, be filming again, nice to uh, have you guys with me. Um, early July, the weekend after the 4th, and uh, I'm up here solo. My honey has to work and she's got an obligation on Sunday, so uh, I'm going to have a little mark time. Um, sometimes that's needed, sometimes it's appreciated. I do miss my sweetie, but... Uh, we may be back up here again soon. So, uh, yeah, just got up here Friday night. I think I'm going to hop on the tractor and get as much mowing done as possible. And then uh, hit the peat tomorrow afternoon, get a good four or five hour fish in, see what's happening there. My goal is to catch dinner. I don't need any fish at home. Freezer's doing pretty good still from uh, my trip with... Uh, to mix uh, wild retirement adventures. Had a great time there. Still got some walleye and perch in there. So, uh, yeah, just a uh, nice, uh, it's going to be a de stressor. Sometimes, if you watch some of my older videos, I always used to say that the old blood pressure goes down at the cabin, and uh, that still holds true. You know, with all, all the screwy stuff going on in the country and the world. Sometimes you just need to get to the cabin, just chill out, enjoy 16 ounce hams, and hop in the old Lund. So, uh, yeah, going to take care of some chores here before dark. I uh, picked up a lots of matzo pizza. I'm going to modify it a bit, uh, get up in the morning, do some more chores, and then put the boat in the water. So. Uh, We'll see you guys in the cabin when I start cooking. Okay guys, I was had a very productive evening. I'm probably 95% mowed here at the cabin. Got this lots of matzo pizza going. I did add some venison sausage and some onions to it. Okay guys, had a productive morning, finished the rest of my chores, got the old Lund hooked up, and we are going to head to the lake. So uh, my goal is to uh, catch some dinner tonight, keep a couple fish for dinner. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to have uh, cheeseburgers on the grill. So, uh, I haven't been out for a while, so I think the last time I was on the peat was uh, when I did the uh, video with Don and Dan. So I'm going to head right out to that spot right away. Seemed like it was picking up uh, later in the day, and uh, by the time I get fishing it'll be about 3 p.m. Probably give it a couple hours. If nothing happens there, I'll probably go deeper into 18 to 20 feet. I'm fishing about 15 feet there. So uh, if that doesn't work, I'll head deeper into the river channel. Okay, we're going to get motoring down the road. We'll see you guys at the landing. It is going to be a beauty day out on the lake today. Got the Lund beached. She's warming up. We're going to head out to the lake through the channel. We're heading that away. One more thing. Seems like I've always got to forget something whenever I travel. So today, on this trip, I forgot the tripod for the camera. So what I'm going to do is duct tape it on the top of that five gallon bucket. It's going to be my tripod. Let's see how she works. Okay, I'm all set up. Something just tells me I need to go a little deeper, but I'm going to give this old spot a chance. Okay, on this pole here, I've got a 
orange jig and a fat head hooked in the tail. Over here, this is normally my cat rig. It's like a Lindy rigged uh, pole, Lindy style. Floating jig head and I got a half a crawler on this one. So anything could hit it, but most likely it's going to be a cat. And then over here, it's just uh, over the side, I may actively jig this one also. Uh, fat head in the middle. So I'm going to tape this camera to my bucket. Hopefully we get some action. Hopefully I get some dinner. Probably a cat. That's okay. Fighting good. These cats had shake as well. This was the floating jig with a crawler. Unbelievable. This thing is fighting. Frickin' tow truck. Good cat. Too big to eat, I think. Now we know the cats are in here. Need dinner, but he's too big. He's too big. Yeah. Kind of tough filming with the tripod bucket here, but uh, that was a great cat. Didn't measure them, probably 25, 26 inches at least. I like to eat them around 20, 18 to 20. But uh, I was probably here 10 minutes. Caught them in front of another boat. That's how come I'm trying to keep it quiet a little bit here. So uh, that was my night crawler set up. We'll see what else we can do. I am fishing a brush pile, so I found it. I think I might have another one going on over here. sure would be nice. Not as big as the first one, but I'm looking for dinner. Oh, big sheep's head.
It's a variety day. Some people eat sheep's head, but I'm not going to do it today. You know, I did just call that fish a sheep's head. That's definitely a Wisconsin or a Midwestern thing. I think the proper uh, term for that was the freshwater drum. So that's two fish on the board. Still looking for dinner. Let's make it happen. Okay guys, I've just got the two fish from this spot. So I'm going to try deeper. And uh, pretty much what that means is hitting the west side of the lake. So I'm going to head that way and get into about 20 feet of water, I'm hoping. So I'm going to pull up here and uh, we'll see you guys over. Well, I really couldn't find what I was looking for on the other side of the lake, so I came back to spot number one. So, uh, I'm going to wait this out until the end of the night. I don't know, i got a couple hours to go. So what the hell? A crack of hams? Let's see if I can put any more fish on the board here. Hoping so. It's a beauty night. The hottest part of the day is over, at least. Thank goodness. It was pretty warm. But uh, it's a beauty late afternoon. So let's see what happens here. Let's get something going. Come on. Let's go. That's what it looks like. I just had something hitting this pool pretty good. Let's see if it's still on there. Alarm. Here we go, guys. This pole is going. There. There we go. Oh, shit. I lost it. Damn it. He was going. Ooh. That was not a knot failure. Let's retie and get back on there. Darn it. Good fish. They're picking up. Got one in this pool now. We'll keep them out of the anchor rope. I don't know. You're always hoping for a walleye. At this time of night, probably a cat, but I'm looking for dinner still. Cats are coming in. And yep, I can eat him. Corner of the mouth. There we 
go. Good eater. Oh boy. Got another one, guys. There we go. Sorry about the makeshift tripod. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think he bit both my lines, guys. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. He bit both jigs. He's got the blue pole, too. Pretty sure. These cats got attitude today. Boy, boy oh boy. Oh! <laughs> They've got some attitude today. Uh, this guy's gonna be borderline, we'll see. I would like another one for dinner. I guess he didn't have both lines in. But he did. Yeah, this guy will eat. I officially have dinner. Okay. It's been slow, guys, but I uh, did manage to put a few fish on camera. Plus, I uh, achieved my goal. I'm going to be having catfish tonight. So uh, I'm going to chunk up those cats, soak them in milk while I take my shower. I'm going to have uh, deep-fried catfish on a bed of uh, some wild rice that I have in the cabin. So. Uh, I'm going to crack my second hams. Thank you, Marvin, for the hams. Traded Marvin a musky nut for a 30 pack of 16 ounces. So, uh, let me see. 6.30. I'm going to fish till 7. And then I'm going to head on back to the cabin, clean those cats, get a shower, and have some dinner. So, uh, been successful. It's tough in the summer. I don't know. There's some people having fun behind me over there. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull in. And, uh... Somewhat satisfied with the afternoon. Looking forward to a shower. Temperature's nice today, but boy, the reflection off the lake, it's uh, pretty warm. Pretty warm. So uh, I'm going to pull the last two lines in here, and uh, we'll see you guys back at the cabin. Pocket cam. See the deer crossing? And there's a baby right behind it. There goes baby. Be safe. Oh, there's another baby. Mama had twins. Any more? Got the bucket cam going. Okay, be safe. Be safe, dear family. Okay guys, back at the cabin. I've cleaned the cats, I've had my shower. 
currently watching the Scottish Open. Life is good at the cabin. Now when the peats uh, were up here last, we soaked the cats in milk, something I hadn't done for a while, but they thought it might be a good idea. And you know what, the cats were pretty darn good, so I decided to do it again. So I got the fillets uh, soaking in milk here for a couple hours. I did add some Lowry's to the milk. Whether that does anything or not, I don't know. Won't hurt. So, next move is to take these fillets out of the milk and uh, put them in the, the breading. I put it away already. I think I may have showed you this before, but I like the fry magic. Because you don't need the egg wash. Even though I, I do have a milk wash on it. This is some good stuff. That's what I keep in the cabin. So uh, I'm going to take these fillets out, shake them up in a, a frying magic. Ziploc here. And I got the oil heating up out on the deck. So we'll be eating soon, people. Okay, my friends. The cats are breaded. I'm going to head out. I can smell the oil. I'm going to put these guys in hot grease. I may save a couple of them for a fish sandwich tomorrow. I'm not sure. It's definitely going to be an all-you-can-eat fish fry. That's kind of the way I was brought up anyway. All you can eat or nothing. I see on the porch. I am still without a tripod, by the way, so I'm going to do my best. I know the lighting's not so good here. Phone's ringing in the cabin. Sorry, whoever that is, I'm not going to be able to get it. Frying beautifully. Okay, the fish is off. It looks really good. I don't think I'll be saving any. One tip I got from Jay Siemens, famous Canadian angler, is if you want crispy fish, have hot oil. I was running my oil today at about 360. And I stopped um, using the paper towel to dab the grease off. I'd like to have a metal little rack here. I don't have one in the cabin right now, so I've got aluminum foil. But if you use like a metal rack, like try to get the oil off your fish after you cook them, it keeps them crispier. I'm going to lay down the rice on my plate, add this fish, and I'll show you that when we get to that point. There we have it, guys. Fresh cats and a nice bed of wild rice. looks really good and I am looking forward to chowing this and watching some Scottish Open. We'll see you guys in the morning. One more thing. It is frickin' delicious. Mm. I don't know if I caught that. I've run into a lot of catfish haters, a lot of them on the Pete, a few of them on the Madison chain. I'm telling you what guys, you're wrong. You just need to handle these cats properly. I'm uh, starting from the tail, 
working my way to the ribs and cutting that piece off. I've got a video, I've got several videos showing me do that, got to go a couple years back. And then any yellow fat on the fish, trim that off. Completely take the mud vein out. And uh, just, just you know, take real good care of these fillets. Clean them up real well, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the milk does do something. But these things are, they're unbelievable. They taste awesome. So give them a shot. Don't hate the cats. They're not bad, man. Okay. I'm out. Hey, good morning, guys. I got up a little bit early, took care of some chores, uh, got the garage all tidied up, the boat put away. I'm getting ready to head on out here real soon. I uh, have had a great weekend. I think I achieved my goal of uh, zenning out here. But before I leave, I am going to get a little breakfast in. I'm going to make a two egg open face with some venison sausage, cheese, and I've got some pre-made potatoes that I'm going to heat up in the microwave before I head out. So, uh, give you guys a shot of that when it's on the plate. Otherwise, it's like I say, it's uh, pack up and head them on out day. So, it's been a great weekend, for sure. Really enjoyed it. Okay, guys. There's breakfast, brunch, whatever. Um, that's a pile of uh, red potatoes and onions. Some restaurants call those American fries. Now I've got the, I uh, flip the eggs, they're over easy. And I, as you can see here, I got uh, venison sausage underneath them, put some Swiss cheese on there. And uh, there it is, two open faces, some American fries, milk, coffee. I'm going to pack her up and head out. So, uh, as always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it very much. And uh, not sure what my next adventure is going to be, but uh, whatever it is, I'll bring you guys along. So, uh, take care. Have a great week. And we'll see you next time.